Earlier today, Monday, April 15th, a letter sent from the MITRE organization to CVE board members was leaked to the public. This letter was sounding the alarm that the contract which funds MITRE to maintain the CVE and CWE services and databases is set to expire on April 16th. The funding for MITRE to maintain these services is actually provided by the U.S. government through both the Department of Homeland Security and CISA. Well, the funding for the CVE and CWE programs comes from the U.S. government. They are used around the world by cybersecurity teams and practitioners on both the offensive and defensive side and are a pillar of modern cybersecurity. If you're not familiar with CVE, it stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. This is a catalog and database of known vulnerabilities for software and hardware. When a vulnerability is made public, it's assigned a unique CVE number. In addition to this, it's also given details about the software or hardware that it is linked to and the version of this actual software or hardware that is impacted. Very importantly, it's also given a CVE score, which is a number from zero to 10 based on the severity of this vulnerability. For example, a vulnerability that very easily allows something like remote code execution would be given a high score like nine or 10. The CVE catalog is critical to cybersecurity and IT teams for many reasons. One of the main ones being is that it serves as a central database where they can check versions of software they are using to see if there are known vulnerabilities and whether or not they should patch them. The scoring system also allows them to prioritize which patches should be deployed first and allows them to fix the really critical issues that could lead to breaches. I recorded this video yesterday, however, the situation is very fluid. And now, as of Tuesday, April 16th, it's being reported that CISA has extended funding for the CVE program to continue, at least for now. It's not clear how long this funding will last for, and this isn't all good news because they still are cutting funding to MITRE and not renewing that original contract. This means MITRE is going to have to downsize several hundred positions and cancel some of the services they provide. If your organization somehow relies on the CVE database or CWE database, which honestly it probably does, it's a good time to consider alternatives and what would happen if there is a disruption to this service. If you want to keep up to date with breaking cybersecurity news, make sure to subscribe to the TCM Security YouTube channel.